Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. So let's see this question. How many ways are there to pay a bill of 17 pesos? So total, this is the our bill. We want to pay this using a currency with coins of value 1, 2, 5, 10 pesos and with bills of 5 peso, 10 peso. If the order in which the coins and bills are paid that matters. So order matters. Okay. In which order you are paying coins and bills. Okay. For example, if I give uh, one, one peso coin and after that, if I give five peso bill. Okay. Five peso bill. Similarly, this is, dif uh, this is different. When I give five peso bill, then I give one coin. So order, order in which coins and bills are paid that matters. Okay. So we want to pay 17 peso. How many ways we have? Now you can notice. First of all, you can notice what, what currency I have. Let me check. So currency I have 1 peso coin. Then I have second peso coin. I have 5 peso coin. And then I have 10 peso coin. These are coins I have. And some bills also I have. I have 5 peso bill. I have 10 peso bill. Okay. So these are the bills of 5 peso, 10 peso. And total bill is okay we have we have to pay 7 pesos 17 pesos this is what i want to pay okay what i want to pay i want to pay 17 pesos this is what we want to pay so how many ways are there now to pay 17 pesos let's call it uh, let's call <coughs> let's call p17 what is that p17 it means this is basically the number of ways okay what is p17 this is the number of ways to pay number of ways to pay 17 pesos okay so this is your p7 p17 means number of ways to pay 17 pesos so what will be p17 you can notice it matters in which order you are paying in which order the coins and bills are paid that matters okay so now to find to find how many ways are there to find how many ways are there to, uh, to pay 17 pesos what I can do you can notice one very simple thing what is that see what is the what is the last or you can say what is the first what is the first you are paying you can notice what is the first you are paying because order in which you are paying coins and bills that matters so what you are paying first whether you are paying this or whether you are paying this or whether you are paying which you are paying okay which of them you are paying first okay so let's say so let's assume that if you pay, just think about it. If you pay one rupee coin, one peso coin, if you pay, then what you have to do, you have to pay 16 pesos. You have to, the remaining amount is 16 pesos. So if the first thing that you will pay, if that is one rupee, if that is one peso coin, then what is remaining? The remaining is number of ways to pay 16 pesos. Okay. So if this is, if one coin, uh, one peso coin you are paying first, then what is remaining? The remaining is number of ways to, to pay 16 pesos. Okay. So, so I can say if the first thing I pay is one rupee, uh, one peso coin, then I will do P16. Okay. Similarly, if the first thing that I pay is two peso coin, two peso coin, then the remaining what I have to pay, I have to pay 15 pesos. We have to pay 15 pesos. Okay. So, to pay these 15 pesos, we can have P15 ways. Okay. We can have P15. Or you can, or what you can do, or what you can do, you can pay 5, 5 peso coin. Then what is remaining? The remaining is P12. Okay. So the remaining is P12. Or what you can do, you can pay 10 peso coin. You can pay 10 peso coin. Then what will be remaining? The remaining will be P7. Okay. So the remaining will be P7. Or what you can do, or what you can do, you can pay, you can pay 5 bill, 5 peso bill. Okay, you can pay 5 peso bill. This is the first thing that you pay. Then the remaining what I have to do, I have to see how many ways are there. See, this is okay. First, I have given 5 peso bill. First, I gave 5 peso bill. Now I want to find, okay, how many ways are there? How many ways are there to pay the remaining 12 pesos? To pay the remaining 12 pesos. Or what I can do, or what I can do, maybe I can give 10, 10 peso bill. I directly give 10 peso bill in the starting, in the starting, I give 10 peso bill. Okay. If I give 10 peso bill, then what I have to find, I have to find number of ways to pay 
the remaining seven pesos number of ways i have to find i have to find number of ways to pay the remaining seven pesos number of ways to re, uh, pay remaining seven pesos so this is the recurrence relation so this is our recurrence relation p17 is basically this is p17 okay so this is the recurrence relation this is a very simple question remember let me just repeat what what i want to do i want to pay 17 pesos this is what i want to do okay and i want to find how many ways i have to pay 17 pesos so let's call it p17 p17 means how many ways i can do this how many ways are there now remember order matters in which order you are giving your uh, pesos in which order you are giving your currency so that matters okay so what is the order in which you are giving your currency okay so you can notice maybe you can give one peso coin first or maybe you can give two peso coin first or maybe you can give five peso coin first or maybe you can give 10 peso coin first or maybe you can give five bill five peso bill or you can give 10 peso bill okay these are the possibilities yes i want to pay 17 pesos these are the possibilities because these are the currency i have this 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 so these are the possibility and order matters in which order i am paying these currencies okay these currencies that order matters so let's assume that i use i use one peso coin okay i use one peso coin first so this is what i'm using first okay then what i have to check i have to check how many ways i have to pay the remaining 16 pesos what i have to found, find i have to find number of ways to number of ways to pay 16 pesos i have to find number of ways to pay 16 pesos here i have to find number of ways to pay uh, 15 pesos here i have to find number of ways to pay 12 pesos here i have to find number of ways to pay 7 pesos here i have to find number of ways to pay 12 pesos here i have to find number of ways to pay 7 pesos okay so total these okay you can you can notice these are the total either i can do this or 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 or so what i will do so p17 is basically equal to p17 is equal to p16 plus p15 plus p12 plus p7 plus p12 plus p7 this is the recurrence relation that we will get okay so very simple this is the recurrence relation okay so that's it this is our recurrence relation okay in the next video we will see more examples okay thank you